Hello guys, this is our channel Facts of Nature. Today, we are going to discuss about COVID-19 versus HIV viruses. Coronavirus Disease 2019 or COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome. It was first identified in December 2019 in Wuhan, China, and has resulted in an ongoing pandemic. The first case may be traced back to the 17th of November 2019. The first news story on an exotic new disease appeared May 18, 1981 in the New York. Many more cases have emerged, alerting U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and a task force was formed to monitor the outbreak. The common symptoms include fever, cough, fatigue, shortness of breath, and loss of smell and taste. While the majority of cases result in mild symptoms, some progress to acute respiratory distress syndrome likely precipitated by a cytokine storm, multi-organ failure, septic shock, and blood clots. The symptoms of HIV or AIDS are a fever-raised temperature, body rash, sore throat, swollen glands, headache, upset, stomach joint, aches and pains muscle pain. These symptoms can happen because your body is reacting to the HIV virus. Cells that are infected with HIV are circulating throughout your blood system. In COVID-19, as of the 8th of June 2020, more than 6.98 million cases have been reported across 188 countries and territories, resulting in more than 401,000 deaths. More than 3.13 million people have recovered. The impact of the pandemic and its mortality rate are different for men and women. In China, the death rate was 2.8% for men and 1.7% for women. In Europe, of those infected with COVID-19, 57% were men. Of those infected with COVID-19 who also died, 72% were men. More than 770,000 people died of HIV-related illnesses worldwide in 2018. Based on current estimates, this provides an opportunity to prevent almost 300,000 deaths per year. An estimated 470,000 people died in the African region from HIV-related causes in 2018, which indicates that mortality has dropped by almost 40% since 2010. The COVID-19 virus is primarily spread between people during close contact, most often via small droplets produced by coughing, sneezing, and talking. The droplets usually fall to the ground or onto surfaces rather than traveling through air over long distances. Less commonly, people may become infected by touching a contaminated surface and then touching their face. It is most contagious during the first three days after the onset of symptoms. Although spread is possible before symptoms appear, and from people who do not show symptoms. HIV can only be spread through specific activities. In the United States, the most common ways are sharing injection drug equipment, such as needles, with someone who has HIV. The less common ways are, from mother to child during pregnancy, birth, receiving blood transfusions, blood products, or organ or tissue transplants that are contaminated with HIV. According to the World Health Organization, there are no vaccines nor specific antiviral treatments for COVID-19. The World Health Organization declared the COVID-19 outbreak a public health emergency of international concern on the 30th of January 2020 and a pandemic on the 11th of March 2020. The management of HIV or AIDS normally includes the use of multiple entire antiretroviral drugs. In many parts of the world, HIV has become a chronic condition in which progression to AIDS is increasingly rare. Globally, many number of peoples have been affected by COVID-19 and HIV. Still now there is no proper medicine available for these disease. If the people are not aware and not safe, it may lead to many death cases in all over the world. Thanks for watching.